What's up, hot boys and uh, cool girls? It's Alex, and uh, you know, I wanted to do a video about this Galaxy Watch 4 that I purchased. It's It's been a couple weeks now, so I, I've kind of collected my thoughts. And first and foremost, wanna just say thank you on the last video we did on uh, the Galaxy Fold, because that's the first video in a long time I've actually gotten thousand views and didn't lose a ton of subscribers. I actually gained some, so thank you for that. But reading through your guys' comments, there was a trend I noticed where people were really, they really wanted to, they didn't give a shit about like the actual specs of it because you've seen hundreds of videos, I'm sure, talking about the specs and probably reiterating the same, you know, product and promotional material that Samsung gives them for their early reviews. And I'm not here to regurgitate anything you've already said. And this watch, I, I have some thoughts and I want to start off with the quick and short version of everything is that I really do love this watch. I do. It's just the platform it's on shows some incredible signs of weakness and I, I think that that is not so much Samsung's fault, but this speaks more to Google. Then it got me thinking about all the stuff that Google does, and I started asking myself, why does Google hate so many of their own products? Maybe a more fair question would be, why do they neglect so many of their own products, much like my own parents neglected me? For real, jokes aside, Google's got so much shit that they are capable of, yet they constantly find a way, much like Cheddar Bob, to shoot themselves in their own dick. Man, put that down. Come on, Cheddar. Okay, all right. I just don't get it. I just can't wrap my head around how a company as large as fucking Google can't do right by their own products and therefore by their consumers. I mentioned in my Galaxy Fold video my complaints with YouTube Premium and therefore YouTube Music and there was an issue and you can you can see it in that video but the short version of it was that YouTube Music was performing horribly on the Galaxy Fold and I emailed for support and I got an email back that shot all my you know all my confidence in Google down the drain because they refer to their own products by a name for the product that they haven't used in years. And going further down that line of thought of like just how little Google gives a shit about it, it's, there's other things that YouTube Music has done. And I don't know if it's the team from YouTube Music or YouTube or what the hell goes on with Google's offices, but it's been little things like this that just really makes me understand now why Android as a whole, from the perspective of like your average, you know, Apple fanboy, they, they think Android is f for poor people or something. As I sit here with an $1,800 phone, it's just a fucking joke. It really is. And YouTube music, the first thing I noticed that while back, I was sharing a link through um, a chat service that I use with all my friends called Telegram. Maybe a lot of you have probably heard of it. It's a pretty popular platform. And with Telegram, when you share a link, a lot of times it shows a link preview. And when you share a link preview of YouTube music in the description, it would actually still constantly refer to it as a new service from YouTube. And you can sign up now to get like early access or some shit. I'll put a screenshot of it. That has been on there for forever. And YouTube music is anything but new. It's, it's not, it hasn't been around for like two weeks, it's it's been around for a couple years at least. And you go back even further to that, when Google had Google Play Music, right? When that first came out with all their play services, um, you know, even back then people questioned like, why don't you guys just use, you know, utilize your YouTube branding that you have that so many more people recognize? And you think that, yeah, that probably makes sense. Why don't you start YouTube Music and call it that to begin with? No, I don't know what the hell Google thinks there. So they called it Google Play Music, and then Google Play Music became extremely popular. Like a lot of people loved Google Play Music so much so that when Google announced not that long ago that they were going to be shutting down Google Play Music in favor for YouTube Music, 
people were pissed and rightfully so because circling back around to the problems that this watch has not with anything about what the watch is built on like the processor all that shit it's fine but the platform is just it's it's built on a house that was built with good intentions and everything about it you just you never know when something is going to fall apart so when google play music shut down android wear did not have a replacement for it there was no official youtube music application for anybody who was using google play music up until this point and even further than that this watch which runs the newest version of android wear this is the only one you could get a youtube music app on it at least at the time of recording this i saw rumors that somebody was finding a way to port it to an older version but there i i didn't see any official support from google on that end so why google why did you dick the small fraction of a user base you had for android wear even further doesn't make any sense then you go in a little bit deeper and somebody pointed out in an article which i think has since been i think google has fixed this you can correct me if i'm wrong i'll put the article up but this article mentions and i've noticed this and it sucks because i i hate this my favorite app telegram which i mentioned before um announced officially that they were ending support for android wear their android wear extension which is dog shit because i just got back here with telegram saying hey we're not gonna make an android wear app for this anymore because who gives a shit it's just even telegram doesn't care about android wear because they're like look nobody fucking uses the thing so why should we care well google doesn't pay attention to this shit because up until at least the time of recording if you were to go on the google play store and look at like the android wear essential picks for like apps or something not only does it still show telegram as like an essential pick even though they've said we're shutting this app down soon get over it they also show i believe it was the uber app on there too which has not worked for months on android wear along with a few others and it's just this it's so evident that Google doesn't know what direction to go down. Is it gonna be their hardware? Is it gonna be their software? And when you have a company like them that has a track record, an entire website dedicated to things that they have just shut down with no notice, rest in peace inbox, the greatest email app ever to live, Google doesn't know what the fuck to do. And as somebody who loves Android and has had an Android phone for years, I'm starting to get a newfound appreciation for Apple. As sad as that fucking is, because at least with Apple, you get something and it fucking works. There's an iPhone 6S in this desk that can still get the latest version of, an of Android. There's an iPhone 6S in this desk that can still get the latest version of iOS. Meanwhile, my roommate's got two Google Pixel phones that were stopped getting updates a while ago officially. Hell, one of them's fucking just broken. You know, I, I love what Samsung honestly has done with this device here, the Galaxy Fold, and I really do love what they've done with the Galaxy Watch 4. I recommend both of them, but it's just so fucking sad that the company carrying basically all the, f the whole fucking team over at Android is being held back by the very team that they're carrying even further. These two devices, whether it be uh, application optimization, you know, for like the larger screen and the foldable layouts and all that stuff. And Galaxy Watch 4 with all the apps that should be on here but are now just slowly disappearing. They're just being held back and it sucks. It sucks to see that because it could be so good. But Google just drags their feet on everything. And then you take it even outside of the Samsung ecosystem. You have companies like Fossil. Fossil, which is a legitimate watch maker who still is trying to make Android Wear watches. They are launching an Android Wear watch, a brand new one, that will not have Android Wear 3.0 on it. it. It won't get it until maybe next year. Now, you maybe you've heard Marquez say this before, but you should not be buying products on the promise of what they'll have via software updates. That sucks. I don't get why Google can't put more effort into making sure that the companies that are trying to make their platform a thing have what they need to make it a fucking thing. It's just, it's insane to me. 
So that's my little rant for the day. Started off with thinking that this would be a fun little quick review video. Um, and it, it is a great device, but God damn it, if it didn't make me just really start to understand just kind of how shit out of luck we all are when it comes to Google holding all the cards and they can't seem to figure out where they want to put them. So that's it. Um, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, all that shit. And uh, don't, don't forget test boosters. I swear to God, Google, I'll, I'll end this all right fucking now. Thank you.